Hello, I'm Diana Lassier, and I'm here to show you how to put together our two-part oars quickly and easily. This is our oar bag. It holds the two-part oars in four separate compartments, and now comes included with your oar board SUP combo, or it can be purchased separately. Your oars come included with an col adjustable collar. This is adjusted easily with a flathead screwdriver. It can only go in one position, so it's very easy to install. Once you have it on, you can slide it up to whatever number you like. The higher the number that you go up to, the more crossover you're gonna have in your row stroke. Your oars come included with a replacement set of spring clips. Now these are just replacement if needed for the same set that comes already installed to keep your oars together. All four pieces of your oars laid out. You can see how easily they go together. You've got red for port and two green for starboard so you can't mix them up. All right, once you have your collars installed, you're ready to put your oars together. Very simple, just make sure you have your matching colors. Just slide it right over top, just right down till the two clips. Once they're up against there, just use your thumb and first finger to push them in together. Then slide them right down until they fit together. All right, once you're ready to install your oars into your oar board, you need to always make sure that your oar lock is lined parallel over top of your strut. You don't ever want it hanging out unsupported on the outside. So always have them inside, parallel over your strut, then you're ready to put your oar in. Just clip over the bar and tighten it in place. Okay, now when you're installing your oars, remember that you're going to have your port oar, which is the red color, on your right side. And then you're gonna have your starboard oar, which is the green color, on your left side. Now remember, this is due to the way you're traveling, since we are moving ahead while sitting backwards. Now one thing to note, if you look at your blades, they should be in position to scoop the water. And that makes it pretty easy to make sure you have them on the correct side. All right, now when you're all finished rowing, you're ready to pack your oar board up. Easily to take your oars apart, you're just going to use your thumb and forefinger, push in both the buttons, and twist the oar apart. Now just remember to rinse off your oars with fresh water, especially if you've been in salt water. Then they're ready to pack them back up into their storage bag and put them away till your next time you're heading out rowing. Well, thank you for watching. Remember that all our videos and more can be found on our website or on any of our social media channels. Hope you enjoy oarboarding.